Muy bien. to the part where we come in. But you can't go out of order. Everyone's gonna get confused. We gotta go back to the beginning of the story. We are about to pay for my Airbnb to Colombia. But y'all, woo child. Me and my stepsister are splitting this. May Allah increase us, give us back to us tenfold. Whatever we lose in money, Allah allow us to be enriched in experiences. Yeah, Mugni, yeah, Rani, yada Zah. Provide for us, yada be as you've always provided for us. I mean, I feel so scared. Okay, wait, wait. No, I'm literally going to have a heart attack. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. Why am I going to cry? <laughs> Bitch, we're going to Colombia. Bitch, we're going to Colombia. Girl, we won. We are. Yeah. 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 Now I'm sitting here looking at tickets right now. Girl, now we like, we have to go. This is we we taking a group trip out the giraffe outside. Where have I seen this before? Yes, another Lion King reference. You already know me. I'm in the airport. I just went through security and had my bag checked in, um, which was a whole ordeal. Long story short, they put me on a later flight. This one is direct. And I got a window a window seat still. And I didn't have to pay extra. They didn't charge me extra for my bag. The one duo I made was like a loft surround me with angels and good things. And he came through. So I have like an hour until my plane. So I'm going to get some Dunkin' Donuts. And literally like the last video, I'm going to edit my moving vlog because that's what I do. Uh, we're gonna multitask while I'm here. But I'm really excited. I was already crying in the car. Shout out to my family for all being up. But yeah, y'all, we're gonna go on. Columbia in my apartment Airbnb that I rented for a month what I'm finally using my camera because my phone is running out of storage but I just couldn't be bothered to go back and forth in my bag to grab my camera this was a more hectic travel day than before when I came to Cartagena I was like three hours early there was like no lines I came on like a Wednesday Tuesday or Wednesday like some random day hold on Kiana's calling me Girl, <laughs> I have to give you a tour. Oh my god! I literally forget that if I'm going to commit to YouTube, that means I have to pick up this camera. Even though I'm like low key, very much out of it. I didn't sleep at all yesterday. I stayed up until I left for the airport at three. I slept a little bit on the plane. I think I'll give y'all a full tour when Hayat is here, cause then like she can hold the camera. We can really do like a welcome to my cribs type thing. Obviamente, I had to get the VPN on based in America because I'm watching Insecure, period. But I'm super excited to see what Colombian shows they have on their Netflix. And then I got some food from Burritos and Co. I got a burrito bowl, a quesadilla, elote, Yes, I got Mexican food in Colombia. And let me tell you what, let me tell you what, hold on. I don't eat pork, obviously. So I'd rather just like be in a, a restaurant setting where I can really explain to the waiter. Like one of my, my Afro-Colombian revert friends, she was like, she tells them that she is allergic to pork. So it's like no cross-contamination, nothing. I was like, let's do Mexican, but they got some Indian food on there, girl. They got sushi, they got Chinese food. I'm trying it all, inshallah. See, I'm gonna watch Insecure, watch some ASMR so I can distress when I'm rejuvenated i definitely have to get up it makes a lot two two dakats of gratitude because i'm just like wow i did this on instagram but it went from a thought to a dream to a dua to a reality like i'm literally here and that feels crazy 
in, in like the most beautiful way. Dos. <gasps> Limonada. I think this is elote. are just like so crazy like and like in the day you can see like all of the like peaks and valleys and like Bro. and this weather is literally perfect like i couldn't actually anything more thank to the vlog hey <laughs> the girls are outside we're going grocery shopping <laughs> to me like this <laughs> very excited um, needed. girl we don't got no water <laughs> no water <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got no fruit. You know, we Caribbean women got no tea. She can see how this little tea packet is, girl, it's gone. So we <laughs> gotta get this stuff. We're still just like not over. It is so crazy. I don't think we'll ever get over it. No. It's just something to appreciate every day. Yeah. Like, this is something I feel like I gotta like write to my kids about. I'm like, bro, no, like, you ain't never seen no mountain. Except for shit, I wish I could paint and get a <laughs> No, literally. No <laughs> One of my pictures that was here was like, oh yeah, like the cars are so small. And she's like five eight. I was like, girl, yeah, you struggling. Yeah. That's so I'm struggling. Why well, didn't give me that? I'm vertically challenged, so I'm like, I'm chewing. You're okay. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> you can have faster if you want though. No, like if you ever wanted to like... Oh, do you? Interesting, interesting. <laughs> Ooh. Are these like fresh stuff stones though? <laughs> oh, Trinidad. Hello! <laughs> it's almost Mant Sebi. Period. I think we should get some. For the culture. <laughs> I love the colors though. Mm -hmm. Very aesthetic. Like very imagine having this like in your fridge, like very like grapefruit esque. Right. Mm -hmm. No, this is good. We did a little test, a taste test on my TikTok. These Oreos went so crazy. Like it's something about the cream. This is gonna be like muy rico. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very, very, very. Mm -hmm. So good. So now I don't know what we're gonna do. We should probably get food. I mean, we, yeah. but nobody grocery shops or cooks. No I know. Idea. I was about to say, that's no. one thing. <laughs> grocery nobody shop, grocery. not what we're about to eat. No. Our food from last night was so good. I don't know if we told y'all. Oh, it was slamming. So freaking good. Let's talk about how I've been here. I've been here for four days and I still don't understand that they're charging me pesos and not dollars. Mm. I was ready to get so Brooklyn in there for no reason. <laughs> she was sitting there like, I was so tight. <laughs> I broke so bad. I was like, that better include a tip. Maturity? I was there on Google like, Grandma said these days, gratuity. What? I was like, the 100 is the food, 50 is the gratuity. Like, I'm so no. like, no. Awesome. I was not okay. No. Uh uh. But it was good. She started like fading away. She was in another world. Literally I was so like, tight. Like, yeah. But Colombia has been very interesting so far. Yeah. Very interesting, but very beautiful. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> My whole freaking chair just lifted up. Okay, he's about to fly out the store, eight yeah. story window. Yo. <laughs> People. I ain't never seen nobody get into a car in an Uber and put a seatbelt on. She had a seatbelt on. It was, she got I a car, thought, she said, no, it was attempted. I tried to click it. There was nothing to click it in. 
and he had no buckles. I'm sitting there like, not to see about the decoration. Okay. So I'm not gonna talk too much about some other stuff that's been going on because nothing is for sure. But um, <laughs> not but yeah, grocery shopping was a success. Mm -hmm. Snacks were good. We're gonna check in later. Yes. Doses. Hola, mis amores. We are on our way to a cafe, our first cafe since we've been here. We're really excited. We're gonna walk, which is scary. Here's the fit. You can't even really see it later, but pink socks to match. Because, okay, here's the thing. I was literally gonna wear leggings, but the fact that I'm already wearing a bodysuit under this shirt because it's see-through, I was like, I'm not wearing two things that are gonna stick to my body and make me sweat. Like, I'm not interested. I wouldn't say this dress is midi. It's not, I just have big calves. So my big calves be like trying to make an appearance. So I was like, let me just put on my long socks to cover up the length. They remind me of Medea, but mashallah. <laughs> Look at the bag that um, Haya got when we went to the mall. It's so cute. I feel like it's exactly what she wanted and it feels like really good quality. I'm gonna show y'all her fit. Period. <laughs> Period. I literally, it matches the bag so well. It does. Oh dang. I would say, do white sneakers. That's my vote. Yeah, I think that's, literally, that's why I just went down again. <laughs> I have not been wearing makeup since I've been here. It feels well, like- I have, I'm saying like, it's so good to like, yeah, and it, it, yeah, it just kind of feels like an unnecessary extra step. Mm -hmm. And when it's too hot, I can't be bothered. Exactly. And I'm continuously wearing a hat or a scarf on top of my scarf for the third day in a row because I need to get my hair done. <laughs> and I'm that girl, like maybe one day I will free myself from feeling weird about braid bumps in my hijab, but today is not that day. So <laughs> anything, day hello. Hello. Uh, one of my mutuals on Twitter, shout out to Ayan. She was like, you have to embrace the, the, the kinky curly hair that Allah gave you. Yeah, I embrace it. But I didn't embrace the like the, the bum bum bumps. That's not what <laughs> I signed up for. So until that happens, which maybe this week we could get our hair done. That might be cute. I feel like if we wash our hair yeah, sometime before like yeah, before Friday, I think that'd be cute. So we might get our hair done. We'll see how much the prices are. But until then, handy dandy. <laughs> Hat on top of the hijab. That's the vibe. It's also great because it blocks out the sun. So mm -hmm. two for one. It's only a four minute walk. So it's not like we can even, the Uber driver would laugh at us. It literally is only 210 meters. I don't know what that means in feet, but that seems not far. Listen, uh, you ready? Pray for us, y'all. You know, well, y'all see this will be alive. So hopefully. Um, so. <laughs> That's so cute. Go ahead and paint something. I feel like you paint. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mentirosa, <laughs> you're lying. You definitely paint by. Or, or I just realized this. This day, most likely is used as sense. So since about it, I'm thinking like biblically since the beginning, or like since there was nothing. Maybe that's something spiritual. Maybe I don't know. That's my thought. That's why so much of Spanish is just like it's not even like literal translations. It's just vibes, which I get it. But almost colloquially, it's a journey. So, if you play, don't come up like you're not Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. I can't. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. I know. <laughs> the place that keeps on giving. Mira. Oh, 
your girls cook, y'all. It smells good. Period. Pasta sauce made from scratch. I didn't do it, but period. <laughs> Come on, Brett. Sí, exacto. Eso es difícil. Sí, un poquito. Femenino, masculino. Sí, sí, sí. Um, ojalá que, you know, uh, con más tiempo y practicar. Practicar, hay que hablar con las personas. Sí, es, exacto. Es la única manera mm. que tú aprendes. Exacto. That's a bigger bus. Sí. <laughs> no, no, no. Yo nací mm. en... 1991. Correcto. Muy bien. Estudié. Mm. Estudié. Estudié. The accent here is important. Estudié. Visité Cartena dos veces. Super bien. Okay. Okay. Un ejemplo, por mm -hmm. favor. ¿De mí? Oh. Sí, por oh. favor. <laughs> uh, Naranja esta mañana. Muy bien. Oh. Mañana. Excelente. Muy bien. We just left our Spanish class. Estamos sintiendo mucho bilingual. You know what I mean? It's giving Puerto Rican. It's giving ya tu sabe. It's giving. Se dando. It's dando. It's giving. That's right. Um, and of course, being the muzzy girls that we are, we found a philosophy. Because it's muzzy things, but I see everything. I said that's just an acid. That's a good class. This is also our first time walking around. And we're in the Calle Tense. I'm always recording. Oh, they are American. Hey. I feel like the shoes. It's so obvious. Like, men can't help themselves, bro. They're so flashy compared to women. They don't understand. Like, men can't help themselves, bro. They're so flashy compared to women. They don't understand. I thought this is so cute for you, Vera. I gaily, the CCC. Agatha. This is Agatha. Amor mía, Agatha. No, Agatha. Qué lindo. Hello. Yeah, no, this is cute. This is so cute. Y'all, oh my God, it's so cute down here. We literally found like the strip, but I know it's probably like. Mad overpriced, okay. and niggas is ready to rob you. Great. And so I respect like four grand hotel. Yeah, so I respect the process, but like, don't rob me. That's why I'm about to put my phone away right now. We're under attack. <laughs> this might be our last video diary, y'all, because I don't know if we're gonna make it. I don't know if we're gonna make it. <laughs> I don't think so, bro. There was also like a little dead bee, but. That might be what he got. Uh, he has something small that he was looking oh, no. at. <laughs> I freaking, I was like, there's no way. He was up there. There's no down way. There. He put his head under that little brown table. He went under the couches, I'm like, that nigga was hiding from Arudu Villa. Arudu Villa. No, no. Oh no. 
Why are you didn't call? You know you blind. You can't see. You should have called me. Cause I thought he was gonna think of a lost letter B. I was like, <laughs> what are you showing me in that claw? And when I looked it up, I remember the word he said. I just looked it up and it said decay. No, so it's a lie. He like so he grabbed thing. that little baby beat. No, that's that is so. That's that so malicious that it hid. I, no, because why would you hide? Like get out. Oh Allah, please. <laughs> Hola, soy en a uh, ocho cero uno y la abismo todavía está aquí y está viva. Puede volver. Okay, gracias. Yo, bring that nigga back <laughs> because there's no way. I'm actually about to lose it, y'all. I don't understand. I'm about to lose it. Don't make no sudden movements. Just go open the door. You got it. You got it. He sees it. Sí, muy grande. Y negro, ¿sí? ¿Es negro? ¡Ay! ¿Está vivo o no? ¿Puedes matarla o no? Ah, bolsita. A bag or something. Oh, no, this is too late. Is it dead now? Está muerte. Ok. No quiero verlo. No, gracias. <laughs> Muchas gracias. <laughs> Ay, Dios mío. Okay, so now this time you saw it. Yes. Okay. Nah, bro. Nothing was cute. You know what? Maybe women shouldn't travel on their own. <laughs> you know, the Sullivan's, y'all might have had a point. Y'all might have did something with that. Because. That's why he was like, Negro? Yes. He was like, oh, okay. But why? Here's what I don't understand. Why he bucked with us? Why the thing was bzz, 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 with us, but a nigga get over there and you running? And he didn't even buzz just now when he was like getting to it. Uh, so okay. you're torturing women. Okay, misogyny as in a bug. No, there's no way. That don't make no sense. He ain't make not one noise, bro. I saw this hollow. That thing was. I'm like morally upset. Right. Like, like in my spirit, I'm he, upset he because. Said, okay, it's simple, but no. Why the wasp acting stupid with? Uh, every time I heard our voice, it started buzzing, bro. It was literally torch like terrorists in your phone. Terrorist, a terrorist. <laughs> oh my god! And then a nigga come. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> I'm oh so annoyed. That's what I was like. No kid, I've been. I don't want to see it. A yes or no? Me. We were just at this like Afro Colombian, Afro Caribbean event specifically for like women. It was really cute. I'm a little sick right now because of high acts, but it's fine. But yeah, it was nice to get dressed up. I feel like I'm giving like Pirates of the Caribbean gypsy realness, um, but I guess I'm channeling my ancestors, you know, Trinity to the bone team. <laughs> we're now at this pizza shop. I need y'all to see how big it is. Like, I ain't never been in a pizza shop this big, bro. Like, do you know what New York City would do when a piece of chop this big? You know what you want to drink, obviously. <laughs> yeah, let's not even put out the bubble. Do you want to order? Do you want to order? Um, you gonna practice? Um, my practice is listening. The bucket of salmon. Anything else? 
Gracias. She's so happy to have her limonada de coco. Y'all don't understand. <laughs> Shorty was crying when she didn't get at the mesh Like. <laughs> oh, this is a bendy. Oh. <laughs> exactly. It's been a week without limonada de coco. That's crazy. That's precious time. <laughs> Not take him to church. Literally. She's upset. <laughs> so we also ordered uh, Alfredo pasta, which I'm so happy look that they give us. This is like basil or oregano. I could do something with that. It's a um, salt, pepper, garlic powder. That's a meal. That's a meal. And then we got a Napolitan pizza. This is the first time I've really worn makeup since we've been here. I put on foundation. That's how you know I, it, it's makeup is on. Oh, yeah. Concealer don't count. Right. You want that foundation and power out, bro. Mm -hmm. It's getting a bit too. Oh, right. Who am I? It's getting a bit easier to navigate stairs. You just let them roll off you. <laughs> Meaning, like, cuando la gente mira me, muy demasiado, muy intense, muy fuerte. But it's fine now. Honestly, I don't think I had whatever high I had. I think it's just the gold. No, because, like, now I'm, now I'm gonna get on the phone and be like, hey. Like duck raspy. The pasta was here, but it had ham on it. You know, South America things. But this looks good. So, like, <laughs> no action. Yeah. Right. The last time I talked was like when there was a hornet in here. But I just got back from the Origen y Cultura, Origin and Culture event that we went to. Every Thursday they have like a English conversation club to help encourage Afro-Colombianos to learn more English, speak more English, feel comfortable. We almost didn't go because both of me and Hayat were like low-key very tired, but it was so much fun. Like I just, there's truly nothing like seeing your people. And even though Poblado is, is Poblado, is, you know, it's, it's, it's a famous spot, whatever. The type of people that me and Hayat are, I would say are like a bit more wholesome. We're really like both really artsy fartsy, intentional, peace, love, hippie, social justice like type of girls. Like Bobonado is nice, it's a lot of stuff to do, it's a lot of places to spend money, but I, I love how now on the internet we're having conversations about like a third space, a place to go that's like not work or some in school or like some place to spend money, but just like a third place to go and exist. And it was just really nice to be there tonight. And we met some Afro-Colombianos and just like talking to them. And if you are learning another language, you know there's nothing like being around people who are also learning the same languages as you because everybody can kind of like communicate with no pressure. It was actually at a black restaurant, which I love, like a black owned restaurant. And so after class, we were standing outside like talking, like us like a whole group. And I love how friendly they were. Like they had no problem coming up to us. And, like they were like asking us, oh, can I give you a hug? They were asking about us being Muslim, about our hijabs, which is so sweet. But like when we were all in a group talking, sometimes they would start talking in English, then they would talk in Spanish and like vice versa. I felt like Obviously, I always want more Spanish practice because it was an English class and they were it was an opportunity for them to learn more English. I knew that it wasn't my place to put my desire to learn more Spanish there um, in the actual like class. Um, like that's not what we were here for. But afterwards, it was just nice to see them like practice their English, but also the comfort that they knew that they had knowing that they could turn it to Spanish, like start speaking Spanish whenever they wanted to. Like, I, I don't know if I would call myself bilingual. That's a bit muy fuerte pero it was really comfortable i met a couple who has been in colombia for a year they spent six months in, in cartagena which i'm so jealous and they like own property here they're also going to the festival in cali i don't know if i told you i'm going to cali for afro music festival with the same group that i met tonight so it was just like so nice to like meet other black people who have expatriated who have left the u.s and i just can't imagine missing all of these blessings and opportunities and connections and experiences because I was afraid. Like, I just can't imagine if I would have let my fear really rob me of all of the beautiful joy and, and, and like love and new things that are out here for me. There were literally blessings that specifically waited until I was in Colombia to manifest. Like specifically, like as soon as I touched down, certain blessings came and have been in fruition. <sighs> yeah, I'm just so thankful. I am going to go to bed. Girl, the bun is big because I did box braids. Um, but she flat, period, here done, here did. Yeah, I'm gonna go to bed. Oh, this is not a reading vlog. 
but girl i'm on 71 percent of fourth wing the girls were right the girls were right fourth wing is that book is it perfect no do it slap absolutely see si. nos vemos más tarde ciao god this is so crazy bro now we literally have to go <laughs> Oh my god! That's why did we do this? Is it drags? <laughs>